Hello gamers, it's nice. I hope everyone without a Veiloon human in their DMs is having a nice day. Today, I wanted to get a discussion going around Ashes of Creation being a PVX game and how this affects the tank role. We'll also be providing feedback on how to possibly do this right. This video was inspired by this forum post titled Aggro slash Threat Mechanics Don't Work in PVX, but more on that shortly. We'll first briefly establish a base understanding of threat, taunts, and the role of a tank in both PvE and PvP scenarios. For simplicity, I'll be referring mostly to the tank role and not necessarily the tank archetype. I have occasionally discussed the tank role, tank archetype, PvX, and more here on the channel, so if you're new, make sure to subscribe and check out that Ashes of Creation playlist here on the channel. And um, before we begin, I'd like to thank my YouTube channel members, as always, for the continued support. It truly means a lot. Please feel free to become a member. It really helps out. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Now, let's discuss something most of us are perhaps already aware of, the tank's role. The tank's role in any game is, in summary, a support role, typically beefier than other characters, as it's designed to like withstand more damage, right? The role of the tank is to take damage for your teammates, distract and taunt opponents to instead attack you rather than your allies and sometimes this involves providing support usually in the realm of buffs for your allies or maybe debuffs to the enemy. A taunt is something typically the responsibility of tanks. This is a skill that forces AI slash non-player controlled characters to attack only you and make you their primary focus in that engagement. Now, threat is a different mechanic. Threat isn't exactly what I'd call a hard taunt. Think of threat as a priority or our hate list, if you will. Better known as the amount of aggro against surrounding players. In combat, adds will attack players based on this hidden priority list, this hate table, which is determined mostly by damage done, but you could possibly see it be uh, tracked with uh, healing done, specific skills you do, and stuff like that. Sometimes even how close you are to the enemy in some games. So the tank wants to make sure that he holds most of the hate, holds most of the attention of enemies while also providing support via buffs, debuffs, and or stuns. As far as PvE applications, in a PvE scenario, this is quite simple. You taunt, you face the enemy away from allies, try to stun them occasionally, and uh, yeah, stay alive. But how this will work in a PvP scenario? That is the question. Players like you and I are not conditioned to attack or focus the person we don't want to. We are not AI bots, we're not bots. Well, most of us aren't bots. Something I love to do on the channel is outnumbered PVP or 1vx scenarios, fighting against the odds. This is something I've done a lot of in the Elder Scrolls Online and New World. Something we always find more effective in PVP combat is to reduce the amount of enemies you're facing, obviously. Thus, it's typically more efficient to focus out the squishier or less tanky opponent. If you're being chased by a heavy armor tank and a light cloth wearing mage, you will likely focus your damage on the mage when you finally get that window of opportunity to go offensive. And herein lies the problem with the tank in PvP. You can be ignored and just have your role lessened and or just <laughs> completely rendered pointless sometimes, and I think this is the problem that most games are gonna run into. Taunts or threat rarely have cross applications in PvP. Right here in the background, I'll have some footage from an Elder Scrolls Online stream of mine as I feel this clip always best shows how I found usefulness in being a tank in PvP. Typically just a troll and just have fun distracting people, I found it so satisfying. Surely large groups should be taking an objective or, you know, just gonna take the next castle or so, but when you're able to distract the group vastly outnumbering you and know that you're wasting their time is quite hilarious in my opinion. It's cause they're acting like PVE ads that were taunted and they can't help but focus you. However, this won't always be the case. Eventually you're ignored or they give up or maybe they decide to focus your group members down and this can be a problem. Ashes of Creation is a PVX game. So what if you're a tank with two taunts slotted, maybe a mitigation buff or two and you got your full PvE gear layout and you're gonna go farm that wandering world boss like Tumok that we recently seen. And then an enemy group approaches. What do you do? How do you deal with that group wanting the drops from that boss for themselves? How will taunts, threat, or tanks be useful in this PvX scenario? This is a question I've been asked plenty of times and one that is perhaps the heart of this post right here that is on the Ashes of Creations forums. 
And before we get into this post, I want to say that this is in no way meant to be any ill will towards this poster. And I think it poses a great question as well as an interesting concern or topic of discussion. This forum post was titled, Aggro slash threat mechanics don't work in PVX. I'll have that post here in the background, but I'll read some of it and try to paraphrase as well. It reads as follows. Under aggro systems, tanking classes were given special skills which moved them up the mob priority list despite a low damage output from the tank. In essence, they break the otherwise effective AI of a mob and force it into ineffectively attacking the character most resistant to that attack. So long as mobs are balanced around this mechanic, the gameplay is reasonably compelling mix of puzzle, timing, and teamwork, and it makes the tank role of being a meat shield far more skillful and enjoyable than it would be otherwise, be it if it was completely passive. The problem is that this whole dynamic collapses when the opponent is not an AI, but instead another player with full awareness of how the game works and full freedom to attack whomever they wish. And yet, tanking is a viable class in most PvP games because tanks are built differently in such games so as to make opposing players either rationally choose to attack the tank rather than another target or allow the tank to create situations in which the opponent has no other option but to attack them thus expending offensive potential inefficiently. AOC would be far better off replicating tank design from PvP games such as Overwatch and League of Legends and pairing them with mob AIs that seek to replicate the rational choices that a human would make in combat that cause them to attack tanks. This will allow tank gameplay to be consistent from PvE to PvP. I thought this was a very interesting forum post as I too have wondered how PvP tanks would really be useful. Uh, and this one's from Nice Gaming, but not spelled like nice. Uh, what steps are being taken or considered to make the tank archetype viable in PvP engagements? Um, well, uh, there is a whole host of things that are taken. Um, it's important to note that in a lot of MMOs that probably many of us have played, uh, PvP can feel like a slapped on design consideration. Um, and our approach is very holistic in the sense that we take into account the fact this is a PVX game. Um, so when we're designing the class kits, um, we are making sure that mechanics and designs are uh, targeting applicability both in PVE settings as well as PVP settings. Um, that's very important. Um, you know, there are also special mechanics like how threat is used in PVP, how taunts are used in PVP. Um, those things, I think, require testing, uh, but we have some ideas that will make them relevant so that you don't have abilities that, you know, have no relevancy in PVE or PVP, uh, but have some cross application. I think it is a very interesting challenge developing class kits and roles for a PVX game and making the skills useful in various scenarios against various enemies. We've seen a good amount of the skills belonging to the tank archetype. I feel these have good PvP applications as is, especially the Aegis skill. I can see a tank pushing the front line of an objective or defending a node using this to protect the casters. You instantly dispel all negative effects on the caster. then create a protective dome behind yourself for 15 seconds, transferring 50% of all damage received by targets within the area to you instead. All this while also giving increased status effect resistances for the duration. Of course, pulls, stuns, and staggers will be good, but good support tools like this allow for PvP viability. Now, what other skills could be implemented? Maybe a skill that taunts an enemy and doesn't allow them to do single target damage to anyone but you for 5 seconds unless they deal damage to you first. Or what about a damage shield that lasts 5 seconds that goes on you and allies within a 7 meter radius and the shields can only be broken by attacking you. Your shield can be a red one and the shield put on your allies can be blue. When this is seen, opponents know they must find the red shield and find the person to focus. Every ally will have a damage shield, but they would have to focus you. I think something like this could be very innovative. These are just rough examples and of course can be adjusted numerically like maybe the shields on allies have 50% increased mitigation and yours has normal mitigation and therefore they need to focus yours and your ally shields break if yours is completely broken. I think little skills like this can be very impactful in both PvP and PvE scenarios. We can come up with a lot of useful skills for both PvP and PvE applications. Intrepid is always looking for suggestions on these, so be sure to leave your idea or suggestion in the comments below. 
However, I think the big thing to tackle and the biggest challenge they may face is how to make threat and taunts viable in PvP. I feel threat is a little more complicated. I feel threat as applicable to other players can be done naturally in a sense, like a skill with a big visual cue or a bullseye, if you will, essentially that says, hey, we have to get rid of that tank with that buff and plus they keep stunning us. This all depends on if Ashes of Creation will have guaranteed hard taunts or just a simple threat system. Essentially a skill that guarantees an ad is taunted and you move higher in the hate table. So if you have threat that builds aggro towards you, that's one thing. A hard taunt as I defined it is something that says, hey, you use this skill on this ad, they will only attack you and it's guaranteed. I've been thinking about this for a while now and here's what I came up with. Threat can act almost as a debuff when it comes to player controlled characters. After a certain amount of threat is generated by your character onto a specific player, they receive this debuff. This debuff will render them less effective attacking players that are not you. This will be a unique weakener or lessener of damage if you will. You've seen this like reduce opponent's damage done by 10%, etc, etc. This will be something completely separate. Taunted could be the debuff name. You'll deal 20% less damage to a player controlled character or summons while under this effect. This debuff lasts X seconds until X damage is dealt to the taunter who will have a pulsing red outline on their character and nameplate. I think this will be something really cool. You'll realize that the tank has taunted you and so you may wanna have to focus them out realizing that you're not gonna do much damage to anyone else. I think this could be really cool as you'll see someone on the battlefield glowing very red knowing that you have been taunted you'll want to focus them out or deal damage to them knowing that you're really not going to do much damage to everyone else and i think if you balance it in a way that um i don't know taunts have a certain amount of cooldown or you have a period where you can't be retaunted and stuff like that i think that could be really cool one way to balance this would be to only allow the taunted debuff or its buildup of threat on threat dedicated skills specifically so basically a mage dealing damage isn't going to you know, apply the taunted debuff to somebody. This will have to be skills that specifically says adds threat. So if a tank's chain pull adds threat, that would apply that debuff to them. It's not gonna be just every skill that does damage, etc., etc. I think this could be a really cool idea. This is a rough idea, but I definitely like something in this kind of direction. Another idea I had works very similar to this seldomly used set in the Elder Scrolls Online called Vanguard's Challenge. If hard taunts are added to certain skills, I'd like to see something like this where taunting players have this effect on them where you deal more damage to the tank who taunted you but less damage to their allies. This of course will have to be balanced percentages wise and won't be a one to one, you know, replica, but I think you get the idea. I know these are just rough ideas I'm spitballing here, but I think they serve as a good, at least a basis, if anything, on a good direction where we wanna go with PVX and tanks and taunts and threat as far as having PVP applicabilities. Most classes like a healer or a DPS mage or DPS fighter, they don't really have too much intricacies when it comes to designs with players versus NPCs as far as how well you gotta design the skill. Some things, of course, as far as balance and damage done but I think the tank archetype is unique in that you really have a separate mechanic that needs to be worked out so that it can have more applicability across multiple scenarios. I know you guys have amazing ideas so please share them below and maybe we'll do a follow-up video to this one with the best ideas or perhaps take that and do some sort of fan fiction archetype skills where we do mock-up skills and I think that could be really fun. PvP often feels like a lack of focus in MMOs, so I'm glad Ashes of Creation is PvX and having to take it into consideration with every design choice. Comment your thoughts below on all of this and be sure to subscribe to sit in Ashes of Creation's waiting room with me. Thank you so much to my channel members on the next page and everyone who chose to subscribe. I really appreciate you. Peace.